We are back. Welcome to the Whiskey Cantina. I'm Jared. I'm Ray. And we are back for another video. Um, Why do you do this to me? I don't know. I'm just gonna try it right. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do some rye buns today. It didn't um, fit. It didn't work. We're, uh, we love Knob Creek. We've only had one that we didn't absolutely love. Um, Which it was, yeah, we didn't love it, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. It was just it didn't hit the it didn't hit the marks for everything that Knob Creek had had quoted on the bottle and put out there. There were times where I'd say that Knob Creek is you know my favorite label. I mean, I really like what they put out. So today, Jim Beam in general is just if you guys, I mean, for, for Ray and and I, I think honestly we've always had great luck with Jim Beam in general. That's true. Yeah, yeah, nothing stands I mean, even out. The, even the basic stuff is yeah. Yeah, you just even just white label Jim Beam. Yeah, and there's nothing to scoff at in my opinion. You know, so we're gonna go rye today with the Knob Creek Single Barrel Select Rye, hundred and fifteen proof. Oh, we're going rye into it. We're going right into it. <laughs> R Y E T E. Um, we haven't done much any rye. We've yeah. done one. Yeah, we've done one. one which review. yeah, sorry for. We actually want to do more. We actually have more. I mean, we've still been sitting on a Sazerac rye, a Wild Turkey One Hundred and One rye for a while. Um, we like rye, don't get us wrong. There's there's just a lot of stuff out there. Yeah. Um, I mean, just this alone, we were trying to kind of, just like Raymond mentioned, we were trying to look this up. This is a Knob Creek single barrel select rye. This is a BevMo exclusive, okay? Mm -hmm. We were, just on this bottle alone, we were trying to kind of narrow it down, number one. Number two, there's, this is a single barrel. It, it appears that all the single barrels vary, so yes. we actually don't know what we're getting in this bottle. No, this is, uh, if you're interested, Warehouse W, Floor 5, Brick 67. So, I mean, from the reviews that I could find, and I'm, like Jared said, they vary like crazy. One barrel to another barrel, you may have a completely different rye on your hands. I trust Knob Creek, so I'm willing to go in anyways, but that's why we're going to kind of go in blind today. One of our viewers, this is the one we were kind of talking about. This is a Knob Creek single barrel select bourbon. Mm -hmm. So this is a 120 proof single select bourbon. Mm -hmm. This was picked by La Bodega, uh, which is a liquor store in uh, Riverside, California. Mm -hmm. This one is picked by Bedmo. It's a Bedmo exclusive. It's 115 proof, but it's rye. This is the one we were talking about that we were kind of lukewarm on. And it's funny because one of our viewers actually wrote into us and stated on this one, that the barrel picks do vary pretty significantly on this, and they've had some very good ones, and I have had some very good reviews. So I don't know if that's what happened with us. Um, I just figured it was worth mentioning because, again, with this, mm -hmm. I mean, again, now that being said, I think anything you're gonna get is gonna be decent. It's yes. just how good or how subpar it might be. Or, I might have, you know or I mean? how much it's going to match what you've read on right. that particular yeah. thing. You, you got, got hopes you going in. research ahead of time, yeah. 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 So, but either way, um, I mean, you, you got rye, you know, 51% rye, that's all. It's just like bourbon. It's got some, some basis. Um, it's not, it doesn't have uh, as many actual laws surrounding it, but again, you know, it's at least 51% rye. Um, that being said, there is nothing on the, the official mash bill is out there. Right. We don't actually know. So, but again, you guys got to remember though, this could be 51% rye and 30% corn. I'm not saying in any way, shape or form, we haven't seen anything. And they're not disclosing it even on uh, Knob Creek or Jim Beam's website. That being said, we don't know what we're getting into. So again, if you have a low rye as far as an actual rye, a 51, 52%, you could have a really high corn. Um, as far as your malted barley, again, it could be 15, 20%. So ryes can vary a lot. Don't get me wrong. I've actually had a lot of people say, I don't like rye, they all taste the same, which I thought was the craziest comment I'd ever heard in my life at that time. Um, because rye truly do have a lot of variations. And now that rye is becoming so much more popular, I think these distillers and these companies are starting to invest more time on playing with things and seeing well, what they can do. I would get say they're there. capable of as, of as much variation as anything else is. Yeah. The thing is, people's palates are more prone toward, you know, just whiskey or bourbon rather than the rye. So they're not yeah. as akin to point out those variations for themselves, you know? So this one. It looks like it's aged about five years, three months, I think is what. Yeah, we're getting that off of the bottle. It's got the actual, what does it got? The barreled date, and then it's got the selected date from when it was selected as a Bevmo exclusive, and that's about five years and three months. So okay. not bad. Uh, there's a Russell Reserve out there that's six years, mm -hmm. and that gets pretty decent reviews overall. So I think 
for rise it seems like anywhere from five to six years is kind of a, maybe a sweet spot yeah. i don't know if we ever i don't know if i've ever had a high aged rye i mean we don't have any mm -hmm. but i don't know if that's even really to be honest i mean maybe comment i don't know if that's an actual thing i guess i'd have to do a little bit more research I'm sure they're out there but yeah, i think you're right i think it's not, i don't know what the, not what the goal would it is. benefit it I, it seems like rye though traditionally are less aged yeah but also you get a lot of flavors out of the less aged. you get the flavor so, going in there maybe that's yeah. i don't know maybe that's what makes curious sense. to see if we get oak though maybe Oh, that's an interesting smell. That's not something that I picked up. That's... It smells like grapes. Like sweet, sweet grapes to me. You know what's funny? Robitussin. Oh, okay, I could see that. Holy crap, you're right, like like grapes, but like strong, yeah. like actual yeah, grape say flavoring. Candy, that's candy, why I'm saying like yeah, Robitussin, because yeah, yeah. I'm getting the ethanol. You know what's funny is I smelled that too, and I was like... I'm getting very little of the ethanol. 115 proof. That is and a, all I'm picking up is grapes. That is a super good smell. That is a great smell. It's that a is a great smell. Candle worthy smell. I think I've made that comment before, but I'll say it again. That's a great smell. That's honestly, I'm really smell. impressed with the smell. It's it's honestly I say Robitussin, but not. I mean, if mm -mm. I guess if you're smelling Robitussin, maybe not too excited because you're sick. But it, at, in a in a a strong grape, almost yeah. like a, a concentrated, grape, yeah, a concentrated smell. grape smell. Wow, I am. That makes Damn. me nervous to go in because I'm not lying. That's one of the better that smells that. we've had in a long time. It doesn't smell like bourbon. Of bourbon, scotch, anything. Yes, yeah. no bourbon characteristics no, no, whatsoever. No, no, no. Not on the nose, no. No brown sugar, no vanilla, no Nothing. none of that. Wow, there's a little muskiness behind there, just. Tiny bit of ethanol, but very little. Very, very, little. very, very little. little. Like you'd have to search for it to be yeah. honest. You can really go in kind of deep on it at one fifteen proof. So little. That is crazy. I'm just picking up slight spice. You know, maybe some of the spice a little bit, but not not much. Not like I normally get from a rye. No, yeah. no like cooking notes or you know the cooking spices. We're kind of going. We went in blind on this one, guys. You're getting our honest review. We have no. We we don't know anything about. And you saw us open and the bottle. Every and every single barrel supposedly varies. So again, we didn't know exactly what we were getting into, but good good on the nose. I would give that a high rating on the nose. <sighs> that is so good. Definitely rye spice. That is, but it's so sweet at the right. same time. It's sweet, but you get the rye. I'm really surprised at 115 proof, how easy that went down. That is so complex, though, because yeah, that it's went down very, very, very good. Plenty of spices in there. You're getting the cooking spices, Damn. but it is so sweet. There's just a hint of that kind of brown sugary uh, taste in there, but it is so far from being, you know, like a, a bourbon. I get none of the grapes or that smell mm -hmm. on the palate, it which is fine. It tastes like what it smells like. It does not taste what it smells like at all in any way, shape, or form, but you do get the rye, you do get the spice, you get a little bit of a, a sweetness, but at 115 proof, it goes down really mm -hmm. smooth. I was, I, I didn't think about how smooth that was at first. There's, there's that kick right in the front, and then that's it. The, um, the finish is smooth. That's good. Wow. Are we allowed to say that word yet, smooth? Yeah. Are we still yeah. censoring it out every time we it's say our, it? It's our word. Okay. We love it. Smooth. <laughs> wow, man. That is so good. There's, um... Yeah, brown sugar for sure, but like it's like a... I kind of like root beer. Like a, like burnt, a strong burnt sugar. Root beer heavy strong on the root. Strong sugar. I don't get any. No, then again, no. And there's some oak, like a little bit of the oak. Okay. I'm yeah, we are gonna water it down a little bit. We wanna, we wanna see what this what is happens. My first time using this contraption. I think that's enough, right? What do you think? Maybe even a little less. Because I don't have that much in there. Yeah. Okay. Man, we'll see what that does. A little bit of water can really open it up. We don't do it a lot. We we did it um, kind of earlier on, more so adding water to them but we really wanted to give this one a fair shake but i didn't expect to like it that much just i probably i don't know it, it would it would really depend on my mood and what i was looking forward to drinking that night or that day um to know if i would water this one down it doesn't need water i want to be clear on that it definitely doesn't need the water you're right because i mean um, if it's a colder day and i'm chilling inside i could see not watering it down yeah. at all if I could see putting like an ice cube in it maybe and letting it, but then again, I don't like the ice cube because mm -hmm. it gets cold. 
So that's my issue with first the ice First of all, it gets cold, yeah. and second of all, I mean, the, your first taste with the yeah. ice cube is not going to be the same as your second, because it's melting yeah. more and more and more. So if I had a really, really warm ice cube, I might go that route. I just don't know. It, no? Nothing that didn't hit the mark? What did you say? The warm ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys. I was smelling things, and I can't smell it. He's way too time. entrenched. Um, that it muted the nose a lot, which it is did, okay because yeah. we still got to smell it without the water. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. I get more of the rye now. More of the spiciness. More right? of the spicy. Ooh, kind of a little too much on the end for me. Yeah. I don't know if the water helped. I think the water hurt. How weird. I kind of don't like the finish with the water. Hmm. And I very much enjoyed it without it. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I almost know. felt like I, don't I know swallowed what it, took it away. wrong, and I didn't. Interesting. I mean, for it to stand up Either on its way. own at 115 it's proof, that's freaking killer. It's not a knock whether or not you do or don't add, you know, water to your whiskey. But in this case, I'd say give it a shot without doing it first because, man, it's really good. Yeah, honestly, I probably now, knowing how that kind of panned out, mm -hmm. it's good. Get your hands on it. Um, like we said earlier, 57.5% ABV, 115 proof. Uh, this is a single barrel select. These are out right now. These are available now. They're actually just hitting the areas as far as I know. I mean, we're in California, yeah. but I know that a lot of the places are starting to talk about the fact that they just got these, especially one of our local liquor stores that we go to. He was just talking about it. Um, that being said, damn. Don't use it as a mixer. I know Don't that use it as a, mixer. a lot of people yeah. that, you know, rise their go-to for mixers, get something else. Maybe the Sazerac, which I still think is also really good, yeah. but this is a standalone yeah. uh, rye. It's good. This stuff is <laughs> good. Really don't, good. Don't, don't buy something like this and mix it. If you're going to do that, buy some cheap rye. Um, there's no harm in mixing, but again, this is some good stuff. Get your hands on it for sure. Very good. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Please tell us what to drink. I keep begging you guys. Yeah. If you give us a suggestion, we, got a we can couple find recently. it. We will do it. Oops. We're going to do them then. Yeah. Promised. If we can find it in our area. Was that the anger monster coming out? My oops. <laughs> That's about as good. Oops. Well. No, it gets worse than that. I'll be honest. All right, guys. Thank drink guys. safe. Drink responsibly. Thanks, guys. Talk Cheers. To you Went a little off the rails at the end there. Who cares? You, know. you want to tickle each other next time? No, I'm saying like...